Ionic Detox Machine, Video 2. Okay, we're, uh, we're back together here to go over the second part of our study, which has to do with the actual Ionic Detox Machine itself. So we're going to talk about how it's constructed and uh, how, it, uh, how it works. Uh, first of all is that it's a machine that consists of just a few mechanical and electrical parts. So it's not real complicated. Um, the first basic thing of the detox process is the machine itself, and it's it's a, D, a DC or a direct current power supply. It's very similar to a battery, in the sense that if you have a battery, you have a positive and a negative side on that battery. For, you, for flashlights and stuff, even on a car battery, you got a negative and a positive side. So this machine has the same thing: two connectors for a um, a positive and a negative side. It runs through the wires and the wires are very safely made so there's no issues of getting electrocuted or anything. Uh, so from the power supply it runs through the wires into what we call an array. An array is simply a small device that sits into the water and it uh, is connected through the wires to the power supply. Inside the array there are some metal parts made out of stainless steel and that these metal parts conduct uh, the DC electricity through them. Then they're spaced in such a way that water is allowed to get between the negative and the positive side which allows a current flow in through the water itself. Not through you, but through the water. And uh, by putting uh, some additional salt in there, the water becomes very, very conductive so it, it, it actually boosts the ability of normal water uh, to conduct electricity. And um, just to make sure, you, you also know that the, the, the current is not passed through you, it's only passed through the array, so you're, you're very safe. Um, how the machine works is that when the two metal rods that are in, or the, the metal parts that are within the array, uh, when current is passed through those, um, through turning the machine on, that th the DC current will now flow from the negative side of the power supply through the wires, through the array, and then through the water, then back to the positive side of the power supply. The electrical path through the water is due to um, the stainless steel pieces of metal having a negative charge or potential because it's connected to the negative side of the power supply and then the other one has a positive charge or a positive potential because it's connected uh, to the positive side of the power supply or the ionic detox machine. So in other words when the array is placed in the water there's a small amount of, of current flow that's occurring in there through the water and so uh, that's when that current flow is taking place that's when the ionization process is taking place. And uh, just as a side note, just if you think that people have come up with this concept of ionization uh, just to sell a product, it's really not true at all. There was a Nobel Prize that was awarded to two men back in 2003. You can find it on, uh, on the net. Just look up um, the, uh, the 2003 Nobel Prize for Chemistry. And one of the men uh, he discovered uh, channels for the ion, ions to go into the cell membrane and the other guy uh, was given half of the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for structural studies of these channels. So it is a documented fact um, of what it does and uh, so it's not a hoax. <laughs> um, <clears throat> So anyway, as the ionization process begins to take place, uh, you'll know it when the water becomes discolored as a result of the stainless steel wire or the rods actually dissolving. There are those that are out there that, that claim that the water discoloration is from the detoxification of the body. That's just not true. Um, it's not to say, I'm not saying that nothing comes through the pores of the feet because we know that we sweat, you know, through the pores of all over our body, things 
come out when we sweat. But what I'm talking about is that that color or discoloration in the water is not a result of you being detoxified. Uh, it's really a chemical process that's going on that happens to the water. If you were to take your feet completely out of the water and turn it on, the water would still become discolored. So it's not an issue and don't buy into the concept that the worse the water looks, the cleaner you are. Um, whole different issue going on. Um, any other um, thing that you read or these some of these booklets and everything that um, tell you that you're losing or that you're being detoxed into that water just understand that is a person's opinion it is not at all provable and hasn't been proved and it's actually distorted and incomplete information so I don't want to lead you guys astray because that's not what's happening but what is happening in the water is causing an effect within the body so don't think that just because people and companies have misrepresented the facts of what's going on in the water um, that that means that the ionic detoxification process isn't doing anything to help you because it is but it's being done in a different way and here's how the ionic um, detox machine is actually working to help your body to deal with too much toxicity as the ionic uh, detox foot bath is generating uh, millions of negatively charged ions the body begins to absorb these negative ions through the pores in the feet or whatever happens to be um, submerged in the water. The issue of the pores of the feet is that we, we know that this, uh, one of the sweatiest parts on your body is your feet. So there's a lot of pores there for, for stuff to go out of as well as to be absorbed into. So the good thing is that you're only going, or your body's only going to absorb as, as many as it takes to balance as many of these negative ions as it takes to balance out the ratio of positive ions to negative ions. Uh, you could think about the process like the charging of a battery to its full capacity. When it's fully charged, the battery charger turns off the process. Or at least the new ones do. Years ago, if you hooked up a battery charger that didn't have an on off, it would sit there and continue to charge. And, could cause damage. Well, that's not the way that the body and the ions work. When you get enough negative ions into your body, it's going to shut down. It's not going to take a bunch more on to get it all unbalanced. Um, then, when you have these ions that's come into the body, uh, the internal tools that you have, your body organs like the circulatory and the lymphatic system, uh, they'll begin to transport the ions throughout the body and this what I would call miracle of detoxification begins to take place. Um, the organs of the body are then empowered, in other words when you've taken a session of the, uh, with the machine, they're now empowered to neutralize the damaging toxins that's within us. And the body's organs then are enabled to function effectively and to achieve maximum detoxification. Um, and so what will happen is the body will simply rid itself of these de damaging toxic intruders through its normal and natural body waste elimination functions. In effect, because your body has been balanced in its negative, negatively charged, positively charged uh, state, the cells are now be, uh, empowered to operate with maximum uh, functionality. So in summary, an ionic detox machine is simply the best health therapy and vitality device that's around to equalize your body's electrical state. Um, it allows you or your body to function at peak performance to clean out the trash that we, in a, uh, that we get just because of the environment that we live in. So by means of delivering a significant amount of negative ions straight into the water uh, of your foot bath, your feet are the pathway then that allows the combination of the principles of what's known as reflexology with the principles that were discovered by the Nobel Prize 
guys we talked about earlier. So it establishes what we call an optimum cellular condition for the natural detoxification process to take place. So it really doesn't, uh, the machine itself doesn't detox you. The machine creates these ions, the body absorbs them, they go out and because they're negatively charged and because toxi toxins are positively charged, they attract, then they neutralize the toxicity, then the natural organs of the body uh, flush the stuff out. So the machine itself simply enables your body to do the best that it can. So the bottom line is that an ion or an ionic body detox machine is definitely the most dependable, the safest, today at least, the most advanced and effective natural healing and restorative ther therapy of its kind. Now we're going to go into part three. Does the ionic foot bath really work? Ionic Detox Machine Video 2